we're good on signed. I'm just really hoping this lobby doesn't lag a lot. Because my Xbox is sort of thinking about it. Anyway, map one here. Vegas and Seattle. This might be a banger series, or it might not. I don't know. I'm still I'm still upset at Vegas. That's not gonna change. They really they, they put me through the ringer against the gorillas. Um in round one. It it wasn't fun. Uh however, it's a new day. It's a new match. They're not playing the gorillas. Um, it's been a very quiet start as per usual. As Seattle let them soak up P1. Which means you've got to try and hold the hill better than this, my god. Okay. Pitcher trying to go big. And Esposito's knocked, so actually no one's in the hill. Has to be Gil to perform. Finds one. Nose penis down there, blocks out the sniper and hits the shots. Gwyneth, coming from the elbow times two. Let's use a bush's cover. Gonna work out for him. Esposito left all his, on his own. Seattle, maybe not totally against that though, as only 20 seconds left. And Esposito seems to be holding pretty well for himself. Rosario pushing on that episode, he starts to be pinched, and well, Gil still manages to find the kill. Vegas. I've also managed to use spawns to have people already in P3. Vegas, do you have a strange pinch starting? And well, you need to hit your shots, kid. There you go, there's the break. Still first to 150 here. in these high points. Um, both these teams looking to grab a spot in the winner's finals. I mean, how huge would it be for both these sides to get a top three placement at the major? Having a bit of a slow start on the sniper, but his team have took the lead. Albeit, Vegas should be perfectly fine on rotation. With the spawns and Seattle. Are gonna have that lead took away from them really quickly. Nearly close. Vegas. Get the close spawns and they utilize it. I have no idea how long I was quiet for there. How long is that in the cell? 15 seconds. Maybe 20 seconds. 17 seconds too long, but my brain just sort of shut off. Got lost. Seattle. In the mid, and what is that spawn? Kutcher versus Pina in the back is going to be huge. And Pina sh oh, okay, Pina's dead. Vegas coming up through mid. Seattle trying to close the gap. That's a start. Jealous and Pina. Whoa, okay. Bodies are flying. Vegas trying to regrip. Kutcher coming off a spawn. This is a bad time for Vegas to try and hit a flank. Kutcher is moving. He is on his bike. Gwynard trying to deal with the man. 
find him, finds another as well, and the hill time starts to go to Vegas. Gil picks up the trade though, and Seattle in the lead. As we head over to P1 now. Coming to the closing stages of this map. Vegas again, all from mid. Seattle all from the building. Verano finds one. A load of nades coming in from lead. Gil with the machine pistol finds another. He is all alone now. Verano in the support finds one. This is a bad push from the two in the middle. They get caught out, they get fined. Vegas in the time. And they have spawns for P2 at this minute. That's really the most important fact. And if they can keep it, this is surely theirs to win. A lot of bodies there. Seattle get the kills. Gwynard picks up a double. Kutcher does find the trade, but they know they need to push up. Insane kill from Rosario. He's literally throwing a grenade and Rosario's just going to go and push up and try and delay them as much as possible. Look at that. Fantastic from Rosario. It gives them so much time. Rosario off a spawn. Catches him coming from mid. And this could be it. And I think it will. Lesion. Take what was a pretty close hard point. And it really just came down to those spawns in the end. Crown Raceway, map 2. Seattle looking to bounce back. And it's Vegas. Head up mid. Didn't spot Cervantes' head, which is curious. But she's going to go all the way around the back, and Cervantes is just sprinting towards him. Beautiful bait. And there's the A point open for Vegas. Silvers is miles away for some reason. Vegas basically have all the time in the world. Miller's going to be here pretty quick. Kutcher on the other side of this file. Does he push around now that that shock stick pops? And if he just plays his position. Very nice. So this should have a freebie on Dana. Finds it. Although probably not going to find much more. Round one. Vegas Legion. Not a kill on... Oh no, wait, sorry, Silvers did get one. I was going to say, not a kill in round one for Seattle. Does anybody spot her rare? No. This bomb's heading to B. Picture is in not the place you want to be. Herrera's running into the back of spawn. Pena. If he uncrouches, he might spot one. He did as well. Bomb's just been blunted up down there and he well, tried to pick his gunfight, ended up spending too much time picking it. Gets swarmed and falls. Silver spotted through the smoke, the throwing knife will help out Herrera from behind. What? How has he not been spotted? Hello? Okay, now I have what? Herrera? Hello? Okay. Strange. Strange ride. Don't know where he's going. Or what he expected to happen. But, um. We're all square.
Vegas now taking their turn at B. Pitcher on the end. Kelly finds him there. Trades in. Miller, can he pick up with another one? Good throwing knife, and there's bodies to be had down that lane, and he's not going to find any more. But you can say he done his bit. So now it's time to Cervantes and Silvers for the lead. And he spots it. Here. Should be one, and it's all left on Perez. Perez throws out the smoke, which just makes it interesting. Although Cervantes has him spotted. Big round for the surge. Two in a row. Once we get through this series, uh, we've got a bit of a banger match. Should be a banger anyway. Between um, New York and Minnesota. That's a big kill down mid. And Paris does have the flank. I think Miller was aware of it. Just aware too late and Kutcher is going to be here as well. Okay. Why he redirects that knife to make contact, I have no idea. Is Perez coming anytime fast? No, nope, he's still going backwards. Cool. Leave Cervantes, who is 6 and 1 in a 1v2. In a bit of a pinch. Although, if we know anything about these bots, normally these pinches aren't well timed. And actually, Perez is just taking himself out of the play, kindly. So, this is really just on Pena. As Vegas continue. The three of the lines. Where are you jamming at? Okay, well, Parrot. Oh, yeah, has he realized? I still don't think he gets here. But he might. No, nope, he's gonna spend too much time there. Okay, well. That's gonna be a Seattle round. Give Cervantes another one, sure, why don't you? Vegas continue to be absolute bots at the game. It's what it is. I'm not going to think about it too much or else I'll only get angry. Like, if, if, if they're going to keep throwing rounds and throwing mobs, why do they bother to even win a map in the first place? Just get 3 0'd. Stop winning these. Jesus. Whereas we one, Kelly at the back. But the fan is going to get flashed. And uh, maybe Vegas have another one on the board. Oh, beautiful for Miller. Another one? No. No, can Silver's tidy up though? He can't reload at an unnecessary time. Situation's not going to be happening here. 1v2. End it here. And he gets absolutely melted off the map. Cool. So when was Perez 9 and 3? Did he literally get all 4 that round? He got 3 of them, but still. Why is he doing better than Cervantes? Doing better than Cervantes, and they literally gifted Cervantes a kill. Wow. Seattle on offense to close it out. Can they close it out? Back to B. It's been where they have been more successful. And that kill's never gonna happen. 
He not left alone. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Who would have thought? It? Everybody place your bets. Is Herrera going to just completely not care about the ball? Or is he actually going to play the game? Silvers is on the table. That's sort of celebratory. Okay. Well, he's getting there. That night is never connecting. That one will, though. Come on. Oh, if that knife had hit, there was maybe a chance, but it didn't. So there wasn't. No, to me. Seattle, tie us up. In what was... I, a bit more of a sloppy s and Again, finger-pointing at Vegas. And to be honest, if I see any more sloppiness, I am just going to give up on this team. And I'm just going to let it run by itself. Okay. Mapa 3. Who is going to take the lead in the series? We're going to start off on offense here on Mimble Hop. Trade's all about the A point, and that push is basically dead for Vegas, and it is now with Pena falling. No real defense over at B, though, so Vegas can utilize this while two Seattle players focus on thirsting one guy. Never mind, they're gonna head back to A. Because it worked so well the first time. Big fight here. Big kill from Pena. This okay. Seattle kinda just lost in the sauce at the minute, and they're literally being the better team at the minute. They're just completely unaware of their entire surrounding context of it as Vegas have just had a bit of a chill over at B. They just have to keep pressing this, I guess. And they'll, uh, they'll manage fine. Cervantes surely spots two in the cross. No, okay, that's fine. And Silvers is getting pre-fired. I don't know what angle Perez had, but it's slightly worrying. And that life advantage is gone. Both points are going. Kutcher's still alive there. And uh, this this one might be over. Okay, A point A point has survived for now. B point's gonna be done. Does this just mean that Vegas fall into the funnel? It would help if anybody in Seattle was watching. Oh my god. Okay, apparently nobody in Seattle is watching the funnel. Okay, well this round's over. He's got one job. You've literally got one job in that situation. Well, I'm already starting to get pissed. And that's Seattle pissing me off, but I'm still going to blame Vegas because Seattle have never pissed me off before. And LAG don't piss me off until they're playing Vegas, so I think it's just a Vegas thing. On to the A point. Or see how the rare should be traded. There we go. Lovely. One person on B as well. Pitcher with a big kill from Crockwood from Herrera. Up in the bedroom. And again, Seattle just uh just working about what are you doing up there, Miller? Can you jump out of that? Oh you can. Wow. Wow, you're cool. 
like the most, the biggest advancement I've seen a bot make. Okay, well the A point should be done. Kutcher's gone for a swim, so he's not really a threat. And if he gets a kill on you, you are awful. Kelly, I'm talking about you. The guy is literally immobile. In the water. You, you, you just have to kill him. Silvers with two. That's Seattle look. It's a ton of Orion kind. Big shots from Herrera. Biggest pickups in three. It's Kelly now on the fish. Trying to get some wall bangs. That knife's going nowhere near. Ooh, ooh, and uh, that that should be that. Really? Oh, Cervantes, lovely, lovely flick of the wrist. Can he get one more? He doesn't need to. He runs over. We're all square. Round three of the most boring game mode in Call of Duty history. Good thing Kelly got that kill. Can he find Herrera though? That's the question. Not oh, well, he's underneath the building. But how about now? There, there you go. You find the other one. Fantastic defense start for Seattle. Can they keep it together? No, because everybody's gonna run off to A for absolutely zero reason. And uh, this is basically a free B point, and apparently no one from Seattle seems even interested to go back and stop it. Interesting play call. Just, just gave them B entirely for free. Yeah, sure, whatever. You do you. But this time it looks like they've learned. Oh, they did it. Guys, they did it so they can show us that they've learned their lesson and that they're gonna just watch the funnel. Look, guys. They did it. Guys, they did it. They, they, they watched the one door that they all pushed from. Wow. One's coming up top though this time, it's Pina. Pina can be interesting. Pina can be very interesting. Oh well, they got spotted in the smoke. Herrera. Can he survive any longer? Nope. Nope. Miller was swimming and he's managed to get out of it. Big from Miller. So that, that is a thermite kill. I like this from Vegas though. They reposition themselves, not all of them funnel through the door. Patron Herrera coming down. Find Cali together. Miller in the corner. He's gonna fall as well. Pitcher. An awful time to decide to throw a grenade, and it's a 2 versus 11. And Pina's the last one left, and this is looking like a great defense for Seattle. Hey, look, I question giving up B. But 
I guess all I have to say is, I'm sorry. I wasn't familiar with your game. Seven and fourteen on Perez, not great. Cervantes, what a day he's having. Fifteen and six now here on this control. His B point starts to be captured through the surge. A point's thinking about it if Cervantes can find another kill. But he's just happily climbing around the river. And spawn kill catcher. And the B capture's been shut down as well, Vegas. Quickly flip the script. Seattle need to regain. There they go. Back on the B. And B should be wide open for them. Kutcher thinking about stopping it. He falls. Maybe it's Seattle thinking about going to A. I mean, they've got two there. No one's gonna deal with B in time. Pitcher is gonna fall. Pina is hyper aggressive up top wood. And he might get more hyper aggressive at this door. Okay. Seattle, for some reason, in no position to start making their push onto A as a team. Vegas in no position to actually defend A as a team. I don't know what's worse. Turns out being ready to push as a team is worse because, I mean, Vegas just managed to get everybody there. Behind the point. Nine lives to five. This is probably round five territory, especially when you're missing a simple throwing knife like that. Perez getting aggressive with a machine pistol. Can never end well. Kelly finds one through the smoke. So that's maybe a start. Not gonna find any more though. Silvers. A Miller. Left up alone. And just too much to do. And we are going all the way to round five because Vegas like everything to go so long. It's only been 33 minutes. I would have said we were closing in on 40 already. Again, it's all Vegas's fault. <laughs> I've officially became a bias caster. It's not a bias for anybody, it's a bias against Vegas Legion. A team that I actually quite like IRL, which is even more upsetting. But I mean, it's just, it just never ends with these teams. And now, and now look at this. They're basically like in perfect position to deal with this round 5. To go 2 1 up in the series. Well, maybe not. Seattle, send them back to the respawn. One tick on A is all they could manage. Well, one and a half, sorry. Gotta count the halves. Silvers has about one too many people to shit. And now that's two on A, that's gonna be a second tick on A. B has now got two on it, there's the first tick on B. Seattle, 
going around in circles wondering what the answer is here. Because right now they are struggling to find it. There goes the A point. Kutcher gets the second tick on B. And Silvers apparently wants to kill everybody. Minute 40 to hold at the B point. For the surge. I would love to see it. Miller, 23 and 15. Silver's 20 and 16. Machine pistol isn't ideal, but Cervantes sniper is, and now it's 6 versus 10. Silver's is still good. Going huge for the team. 2 versus 8. And, uh,. Yeah, Seattle's defense, really, really good, really good, and definitely deserves this big round five win for Seattle. And that might inject a bit of energy into them, because they were two kind of draggy matches, because that's how, that's just how Vegas play. They just try and burn you out. Map 4, Embassy Hardpoint, Can Seattle, wrap it up here, book their spot in the top 3 or will Vegas bring us to another game 5, which they're probably gonna win a sloppy yes indeed, just to give me even more clinical depression. Vegas play the P2 Mellow. And Herrera is going to be the one man army over at P1. See, the interesting thing about P2 in this map is that in, in most maps you have the, the P2 Mellow and it's like one or two people will constantly push it, the other two will sit back. But what this can turn into on Embassy, it, it can just turn into constant fights. In a weird way, like not, it's not proper, but even just the, the angle that one player can look round the corner of P2, you, you know, you can see P1 right there, and just random gunfights end up starting. But it's not really a fully fledged, and how he didn't kill him is insane. It's not, it's not like any other P2 meta, I said, is he okay? Whoa. Man pulled out the ballerina moves. Build out the, the two -fold. That is what those little like, ballerina are two what? Don't know. Think so. Miller, gonna follow her air. Does Vegas break in for a matter of seconds? Matter of seconds. Silver's gonna get aggressive on Pena. That works out as Cervantes is already up there. Silver's holding down mid. What a start to this map. Although they might have left their teammate all alone. And Kutcher is gonna get the break. Come try and deal with the people down low. Kutcher gets them the spawns on bridge as well. Seattle. A wee bit over aggressive. And have they handed the Legion away back into this map? 
Because if they if they stay put, if they bunker up, that's at least 30 seconds, not for more than 30 seconds for them. That's 116 to 16. Going into a P4, which, well, you currently have the rotation for anyway. Although Pima's coming to the back door pretty quickly. He's 2 and 7 self. Make it 2 and 8. That again. And again, Vegas being held up in mid. Cali doing God's work. Herrera with a decent thermite then. Machine pistol not going to find anything. Perez through the back door. Going to be able to contest. Buys his team a bit of time to get in the position. Got a couple more. So there's a Miller and none of that side door push. <laughs> oh dear. Have Vegas won a single rotation? Well, they could still win this one, actually, because it's again Seattle. Over-aggressive. No, it's okay, Kelly still spawned in there. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. It'll be 20 seconds. All they need. Those things shoot incredibly fast. Beautiful double from Cervantes. And this could be all she wrote. Pina the last hit. He's gonna fall, and ladies and gentlemen, how about them Seattle Surge? That's how you handle Vegas. Vegas will head down to the loser's bracket. A Seattle book their spot in winners finals and get top three. Top three at the major for Seattle Surge. I told you at the start, do not sleep on this team. 